That doesn't sound like a very happy ending. I don't need those, and I really don't need those. Right, let's get this auger on the guy. Um, we are nearly at the cornfield, guys. I think Freddy's got a really good idea about making a subterranean tunnel. Between all three base camps. Why is it? Wouldn't let me place it. Yeah, I went back on Elder Scrolls Online this morning. Like I said, I went on it uh, really late last night, so like 2 o'clock this morning, so very, very late. Um, probably put about an hour and a half in. And then um, came back on this morning. And I got, I think it was eight, was it seven or eight? Seven or eight dis I think it was eight disconnects um, in the space of 45 minutes. He just kept saying an error has occurred. Didn't like the game didn't crash or anything. It just booted me out back to the uh, like character select menu. So I just gave up. I got better things to be doing than. Uh, well, I don't mind beta testing, but if I can't even freaking get a stable connection, then what's the point? There's obviously a problem at their end, because like I said, I was on for an hour and a half last night. What I should imagine is happening, I mean, for example, in the UK, the beta test time wasn't until 11 o'clock last night. That's the earliest you could get on, because it was 6pm EST, the same time, wasn't it, which equated to 11pm for UK folks. So I should imagine there would be very few people in the UK bloody on last night. They're probably all on this morning may just put some additional stress on the service. And of course I'm not just talking about the UK, I'm talking about all of Europe. It's bloody ridiculous having it at 11 o'clock on a Friday evening. Bloody absurd. But to be honest, every flipping decision that they've made about that game, to be quite honest has been a train wreck from day one, from what I've understood. And I so want it to be good. I so, so wanted to play an Elder Scrolls Online game. Someone in chat mentioned the other day, the perfect Elder Scrolls Online game wouldn't be a massive multiplayer online one. It would just simply be a multiplayer version of Skyrim, you know, maybe limited to six, seven, eight, I don't know, ten people. <laughs> Whatever. It didn't have to be a goddamn MMO. With all crappy law breaks and arse arsey combat mechanics. So I quit a lot. Gonna play some PS. What are you playing on the PS4? Pentium. That sounds nice, Captain. Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? So it'd be very nice just to have a sort of tunnel that went straight to another base camp. Uh, no, chicken. What are you talking about, Freddy's? I'm not sure what you mean, Chicken Mama. Yeah, I mean, the, yeah, the multiplayer element of this game server side problems. You know, it's, it's got a long way to go. But, I mean, we, we played it for five hours with three of us on the server yesterday without so much as a glitch. I mean, the fact that Freddy's struggling to play it is more down to his hardware. Well, it, that's all it is. It's just that it's nothing to do with the game. Because Ben had the same problem. Every time I used the auger, it just lags them out. But 
but they're both playing on laptops, you know, so it's never going to be the same as playing on a sort of good quality, um, well, I suppose, unless you spend three times the amount of money on some crazy-ass Alienware laptop, which would be overpriced anyway. Wow, I felt like we went a long way then. <laughs> Look at the, the lovely... Li Has anyone seen the new Sylvester still out maybe? The one where he's in a prison, is it? What's it called? Is it Escape Plan? So someone asked me if I wanted to watch that later and... Uh I wonder if it was any good. I mean, let, let's be honest, it's a Stallone film, so I know what I'm walking into to some degree. <laughs> Good old Sly. you got to love him. Alright, let's turn that off for a minute. What's that, Pentium? They want you to pay $60 for a game, and then $15 a month, you think not. Hmm. Yeah, four-player Skyrim Cowot would be excellent, Captain. <laughs> it's alright, Nyrim, don't worry, mate. Just talking about AI Freddy. <laughs> There's a company that does custom laptops. Oh, right, okay. I mean, let's, let's be honest, Alienware is hugely overpriced, but you know, they do make some solid hardware. It's just, uh, you are paying a hell of a lot of money for what you get. But, let's be honest, if you've got an iPhone, who are you to argue? It's the same the world over, isn't it? You're paying for a brand as much as you're paying for uh, your specs of the hardware as such. Nothing new there. So I bought uh, my girlfriend uh, a new iPhone for Christmas and uh, I've never actually had an iPhone myself. But um, there is something very nice about it. I don't know, it's like the build quality, the way it, it you know, it, it's pretty smart, isn't it? As much as I know, oh, iPhones are crap, oh. you can't deny it. it's a, it's a good feeling bit of technology. Build quality is rock solid. I mean, I've got, I've got, I've got a really old Dell laptop. Which is actually um, what's what is it? It's, it was hellishly expensive back in the day. It's an XPS M1710, which is like it's probably nearly ten years old, and that that is still going strong. I still use it daily, just for um, seventeen-inch screen or what have you, just for um, having an email account permanently open. I think the fans need a bit of uh, a clean out. <laughs> Ten years down the line. I've only ever taken it apart once. It's a graphics card kept overheating. For some reason one of the um, heat sinks had got blocked with um, just with dust. It's, it was almost as if one of the fans had stopped working so everything was going one way as opposed to splitting in two directions. It just resulted in one side of it was always getting a lot hotter than the other. And that's pro God, that must have been nearly three years when I did that. So, yeah. Look up Maliba. Oh, right. Well, I, I would. I'd never buy a laptop to game on. Grum, do I have any ideas for your server like buildings or games? Uh, to be honest, Lizard, I never and probably never would play Minecraft for the mini games. I at, at most play Minecraft to enjoy the mod packs. Um, actually, you might as well get this. It's alright. It's only 5 o'clock, isn't it? Um, or to play survival mode on the vanilla server that we had. Um, I'm not into playing Minecraft for all the mini games. 
so you know, I've seen the Hunger Games and all that on YouTube, and it, just, it doesn't appeal to me in the slightest. I'm sure I, if there was nothing else to play, I'm sure I would and enjoy it, but there's so many other games out there that the last thing I want to be doing is playing some uh, Minecraft version of something else. Oh shit, I've got bloody stuck on the torch, haven't I? Oh crap! We know a way out of that. Crouch and pick it up. See, pro player. Malibal, Malibal laptops. iPhones are very unsafe. Apple created built-in backdoors. <laughs> yeah, all right, mate. <laughs> so you can talk to me all a day about the Apple conspiracies and all the rest of it and on many of those topics I'm sure I know nothing and would happily take your word for it. And on other topics, I'm sure I would just wholeheartedly agree with my own opinions. But, like Unreal has just said, Apple products are shiny. <laughs> and that's all it comes down to. I, for example, have absolutely no requirement for an iMac. An iMac? Are they even called iMacs? For a Mac <laughs> computer. No need for one whatsoever. However, if my gaming room had more room in it, I can confidently say that I would own one. In fact, I definitely would. There is not any doubt in my mind that if it didn't involve a huge rearranging of my gaming room, there would be a Mac in here. And Unreal has given you the answer as to why that would be. <laughs> I'm a sucker for a good quality bit of hardware. Right, it's nearly time to go guys. That's been a quite a good productive evening actually. See when Ben and Freddy play, I think they uh, kind of assume there's nothing to do with an evening, but there's, there's loads that you can crack on with. We shall have to have words. <laughs> Uh, what's that? Is that... That's iron ore. Oh, right, okay, yeah. So, let's... Nosh up. Oh, God, let's put the auger back. That would have been a disaster, wouldn't it? Put the crossbow bolts back. Put the torches back. Got some spare spuds. We've got plenty of water. We've got ammunition. Right, we're going on an adventure. And you know what? I am absolutely bursting for a piss. So, before we go, I will be back in two minutes, guys. Can't can't risk it for a biscuit. Back in the jiffy. Right, sorry about that, guys. Oh, hello, Chicken Momo. I will see you again then, dude. Oh, shut up. I didn't mean to say hello. I meant to say goodbye. Yeah, catch you later, mate. Grum, you don't want a Mac. You just think you do, but you don't. Oh, I, I couldn't agree more.